All right, what we're going to do today is give a little uh, install and flight review of the Asan AG61 uh, steering gyro. Uh, what this does is it keeps your plane going straight, especially on a grass field that may be very bouncy, or even on an asphalt runway um, where maybe pilots have the tendency to oversteer it one way or the other, even if it's going off just a little. Uh, this gyro keeps you going straight on uh, without any input for the rudder, which is really good. Uh, what we have here is the uh, 80 millimeter Avante. Um, this will work on any plane that has front steering. Uh, this has a control box, but I'm going to show you how to hook it up. The actual unit is um, this right here. It comes with the uh, one, two, three uh, ends on one side. This fourth one and then the uh, gyro itself. I've mounted this in my plane already. I've taken it out and I'm going to just reinstall it now on camera so you guys can see how to put it in. The first thing I want to mention though is uh, the best thing to do is to label each one of these items so that you know exactly what you're getting into. Um, and that way you can see as you're going along. The red one here, the male side, is going into the uh, receiver channel um, on your radio. I'm sorry, on your receiver. Um, the one that's marked turning servo, turning is referring to steering. Um, that's going to go to the steering servo. Uh, the one that's marked gear out is going to go to the retract servo. And then turning in, you're going to see we're going into a Y cable. But you're going to need a Y cable um, to get this done. Uh, the first thing you're going to do... Oops. The first thing you're going to do is um, put the end of the Y cable into the receiver channel uh, for a rudder. All right. Now I've got this mounted already, so yours will be kind of flopping around. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is hook up this red end into the uh, receiver gear channel. Now what, what the gear channel does on this device is it it's just going to coordinate so that it's active when the gear is down and it's going to be inactive while your gear is up. Um, what's nice is that you can reverse that if you set it up and it's it's backwards. Um, I kind of color coded these for my benefit now to make this video go a little bit faster for you. Um, on one end of the Y cable that's going out of your receiver you're going to hook that into the rudder. Now on the, on the Avani you're going to pick the, the wire that's coming out of the the rudder channel here that's further to the front and just just put that in make sure you match up the um, color co coded signal wires okay so we got the signal wires yellow yellow uh, for the other end of the um, the Y cable that's coming out of your receiver uh, you're going to hook that up uh, to the one that they've already pre-labeled as turning in. All right, the next thing you're going to do is take the one that is pre-labeled turning servo. Um, I used a label printer, which I have one of these, and I find this very useful, um, not just in this application, but in a lot of things. But um, this is going to go to the steering uh, servo, which steering means your uh, servo that steers the front gear. So that is going to be the wire that's coming out of here, and that's hooking right into the steering servo here. That's moving the arm that's steering the front wheel. So once again, you're going to hook those two up. And then last, um, on gear out, you're going to take uh, also from the front end of the uh, control board here, you're going to take the one that's uh, marked for front retract and put that into the labeled one, pre-labeled one gear out. All right, once you got that done, what I would do is just, since this is attached already, but put a piece of tape over this and hold it down because as you move this, it's going to affect the, the gyro. Uh, next thing we're going to do is just my radio is already on, so we're just going to hook up the plane. Now you're going to see that this is going to flash as it's initializing. 
solid blue means it's on and it's working as long as the gear is uh, down. In my case, the gear is up, so it's not going to be flashing. Um, so it's not going to stay solid. It's going to be flashing. Um, what you want to do, though, is turn the gear down. Extend them. Now this takes a couple seconds to actually activate, and then you see it turns blue. That means it's working. Um, if your blue light comes on when the gear is up, there's a description in the instructions on how to auto configure it. I mean, generally what you're going to do is, after you've done just what I've done, you're going to be pretend this is the rudder um, stick. You're going to be moving this thing back and forth like 22 times, and then just hold it to the left. But you're doing that with the rudder stick. And then that will reverse so the gyro knows that the gear is now down. All right, so, but once you get to that point and it activates, um, you can see you can see how as I turn the plane, see how the wheel is staying, is still pointing um, just past you in the camera. And it'll stay in that direction um, as the plane is traveling along the ground. Um, what's also nice is that um, you can still, your rudder still works as it should, and the front gear will also steer, albeit with a little bit of um, delay. It's, it's, it's more of like a, um, an expo feeling so that as you're turning the stick or pushing the stick, it's not instantly responding like a rudder would. There's a little bit of a delay. Um, but you're not even going to need the rudder as you're taxiing down down the runway because as soon as you start to accelerate, the plane is just going to take off. All right, so generally that's how you hook it up. Um, you can label it as you need to and then just mount this somewhere uh, forward facing um, with uh, two-sided tape. And then you can see how it... No matter what I do to the plane, the gear is still forwarded. Um, I have a couple of videos I'm going to post um, or attach to this. Uh, one's going to be like a before, because I have some uh, video of me trying to take off with um, without the gyro, and then there's going to be some video of me uh, with the gyro, and you'll see how much better it is. Um, you don't get that, you know, porpoising down the um, taxiway. Alright, this is going to be a flight with the 80mm uh, Avante with the Asan gyro in it for the steering. That's it right there. Um, when it's solid blue, it means it's active. You can kind of tell it's working because if you move the nose, you can see how the wheel is still maintaining that straight position. And it does uh, very well too on the landings. Tracks true. Can't really complain about it at all. It really works great. Okay, another flight with the Asan steering gyro. 
not going to turn the rudder at all. So today is all about is landing practice. <laughs>